Welcome back to the pod. Today, we are going to be talking about, I would say, one of the new companies, but one of the most talked about companies in the last couple of weeks, and that is Thrive Pickleball. Thrive Pickleball is based out of Colorado. Is that correct, Rob? Uh, Vegas. Vegas. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, uh, and they've dropped two paddles at this point, uh, but why everyone is talking about them is they're doing some really cool stuff with carbon fiber and Kevlar uh, faces and then combining them together. Is yep, that yep. correct? Yeah. The uh, new Azul. It'll probably be out, I guess, in about a month and a half. Yep. And I brought Rob on because he is the Northern Virginia ambassador to Thrive. So take or leave what he says. He might be slightly askew <laughs> and in favor of the company. But I, uh, I wanted him here because he's got a lot of knowledge. He's been playing with the paddles for, gosh, four months, five months? Uh, yeah, I got my first one. It was late October, whatever that is. Okay, yeah. yeah, so like five, almost six months. So one of the cool things about the Thrive paddles is what comes with it. So for $179.99 is what I saw on their website, you're getting a pickleball paddle. You're getting a nice head cover that goes along with it. One of the other cool things that they're doing, and uh, I think what makes this company unique, is that they are essentially putting these cards on here. Let's see, where's the thing at there? And that is going to give you your swing weight, the paddle static weight when it comes out, uh, as well as a serial number, a uh, twist weight, and how head heavy it is. Um, from my understanding, just with talking with Rob a little bit about Thrive and uh, the guy who created this company, is that he wants it to be very fitted to the consumer, yeah, kind absolutely. of like getting custom-made golf clubs, yeah, yeah. per se. In fact, he used to tinker with golf clubs before ah. pickleball paddles, so yeah, right in the wheelhouse. Nice, nice. I always just initially want to see the paddle, and I want it to look cool. I don't want to play with something that's dull or boring. And I really like this because I love the white on black, but it also comes with like a hot pink version of it where a hot pink handle and edge guard all the way around. Very, very good looking paddle. So my first take is like, yes, I would play with that out on the court. It looks really, really nice. The other thing that I think is very important is you're not getting just a, a paddle out of a package. Uh, it comes with a couple of different things. And uh, Rob, why don't you tell a little bit about what comes in the package when you order the paddle? Yeah, yeah. So for me, because I had the Yola, I got the new gearbox coming in just the plain bubble wrap, mm -hmm. which I thought that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, this comes with, like you said, it's got the customized plate. It's got the customized branded cover, not customized, but branded cover. Comes with a branded eraser, kind of cool. Branded lead weights. And these are all for... Like I said, 180 bucks, and I, this is going to sound like an infomercial now, but I do have a promo code, yep, which is Rob10, so R O B one zero, yep, and it gets you 10 percent off and gets you all that free stuff for 162 bucks. So, so, so that was my first take with this battle, and what I thought was really cool is, again, I'm a grit guy. I want spin. Most people do at this point, and awesome. even after hitting with it for a couple of months, there's really not a lot of degradation to the grit. It is, uh, it's still there. It was holding the ball uh, very, very well. Uh, the other thing is it comes in the 16 millimeter, which is the threat. And then the other one that we have is the rush. This is a 13 millimeter. So the nice thing is I got to play with both of them side by side to see kind of the pros and cons of both. The threat is definitely my favorite between the two. And I think that's because I'm figuring out that I am a 16 millimeter guy. I really enjoyed the resets on this paddle. I thought that my drives were good, not exceptional from the baseline, but because in this day and age, really what we're all trying to do is get to the kitchen, I could hit a drive effectively enough to have an easier fifth. And then with this paddle, I am just a reset monster. Coming into the kitchen, I didn't feel like I needed to hurry. I'm just basically trying to pop it back over into the kitchen to get up to the net and start a dink battle and look for opportunities to win the point. What do you think, Rob? I know you've played with both of them. Yeah, yeah. No, 100%. I knew. So I was using Yola before this, and I really liked the Hyperion. Uh, Perseus, I was all excited about. Turned out I was a little disappointed in that. Mm -hmm. And 
the, as soon as I tried the 16 millimeter, I never touched my Yola again. Okay. Um, I felt like everything was a little bit better. I had a little bit more pop. You know, I was able to body bag guys that I wouldn't even think of before just by that little bit of difference. Um, and you mentioned the grit where for me, it's all about control. Um, cause I, I'm still kind of a newbie. I'm like two years in and I was, you know, pounding the ball, pounding the ball where with this, I've noticed even my drives, I'm able to control those drives to get that dip, you mm -hmm. know, right over the net mm -hmm. to where it's effective. Even, you know, as I keep progressing up levels, it's a pretty effective drive to either, you know, at maybe if I'm playing at a four Oh, that's a point. If not, like you say, it's got that, that fifth is an easy, easy. Yeah. Much, much, much easier. Yeah, yeah. And then what did you think 16 millimeter versus 13 millimeter? 13 millimeter, I had the same exact thing. It felt, it was too poppy for me. Mm -hmm. um, it just wasn't a fit. And I knew right away, just like, I, and I had ordered the new gearbox. I had pre-ordered that, I think right about the time that I got this. Mm -hmm. And I tried that once or twice and, and just knew it was not for me. You know, it's not, not for me. I don't need that extra power. I need the control so that I can sort of shape those, those shots. Yeah. And, and so when I grabbed the two paddles from Rob, my initial take was like, I was actually more excited about the rush mm -hmm. um, just because of how heavy it was. It was like 7.9, I believe, right. or 7.8 out of the box. Um, the grit was intense on it, which yeah. I thought was really good. Um, and I'm looking for a little bit extra in the pop. Right. Because I, I want to drive first, yeah. drop later. Yep. And, and I know you play that way as well. Oh, definitely. But yeah. I, don't, I don't think either of us, to be honest, I don't think we need that. I think it's more being able to shape those shots. Because when we're playing against, you know, four nines, five zero plus, it doesn't matter. That extra pop that it had, like to me, it, with the gearbox, losing that control was such a huge trade off. Like yeah. it wasn't even close. And I felt like the same way with the 13 millimeter here. I didn't, I didn't need it. I need that. I need to be able to shape those shots. Yeah. And, and that was my take too, is I enjoyed hitting drives with it. And I think, um, it, like if I were a thrive player, I would have both of them in my bag mm -hmm. and I would probably play singles with the 13 millimeter mm -hmm. and play doubles with the 16 millimeter, yeah, yeah. um, because it had a lot of shape to the shot. It hits really hard from the baseline, which I think in singles is important. Yep. Um, my biggest beef with it is just when you get to a thinner paddle, it's much harder to reset. It's much harder to have the soft hands yeah, yeah. so that you can get it back into the kitchen. So I was getting a lot of pop-ups and, uh, and people were pounding me, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but I will say that it still felt really nice dinking at the kitchen. It wasn't yeah. so much pop like the gearbox yeah, battle yeah. out there where, I mean, when I played with that gearbox, I felt like yeah. I was constantly trying to hold back on it because yep. you never knew where the ball was going to land. Yeah. So here are the specs to the threat, the 16 millimeter. It's a 360 unibody construction using carbon fused molding technology, AKA thermoformed. It has the foam injected walls like most of the thermoform paddles have out there with a carbon seam to increase the sweet spot and feel, which I will say the sweet spot on this was very forgiving mm -hmm. on, on the threat, which I think helped with the resets. Uh, it's got peel ply technology uh, and a tested weave pattern for exceptional spin and wear. So the peel ply and the, the grittiness of the paddle, uh, I think really go together. Like I said, there is a fine, there is a more coarse. I prefer the more coarse. I feel like it grabs the ball a little better. Yep. And that's what these guys have. The swing weight is going to be 117 to 124. Now, what does that mean? This is like getting custom fitted to a, a golf club, like we had talked about earlier, in that you can order a specific swing weight from this company and then they will ship it to you uh, i know in the past like pickleball central and companies like that you can type in the comments hey could you give me the lighter version of this or the heavier version depending on what you want uh, what i've found is that they just don't pay any attention to that uh, because i i have asked for the lighter paddle of everyone and i tend to get medium to heavy every time so i really like that this company is trying to really fit to each individual and as some of the top paddle reviewers were in Vegas last week seeing the new Azul and some of the new stuff that Thrive is dropping um, I know that it's very important to this company to to try to give you exactly what you want which I think is very cool yeah absolutely so that the paddle that you tried was middle to heavy I think it was a little over 120 mm -hmm. um, and that, I didn't know like frankly I don't know but as I use these I'm starting to tinker and I can guarantee by my next couple of paddles, I'm going to know exactly where I am because yeah. I'm, I'm 
getting to know. And once you do, I have the same thing with hockey sticks where like once I know, like that curve is my curve for 40 years. Yeah. And that's kind of how I feel like with, with this. My swing weight, once I know, I'm going to know. And I might tinker around a little bit, but I think it's important for people like you and I that want to keep progressing mm -hmm. to get something that feels real comfortable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The uh, This is an elongated shape. It is a true elongated shape. It's a total length is 16 and a half inches. Its width is seven and a half inches. And the grip cir circumference is 4.125 inches, which is a little on the narrower, but I actually prefer that. I think it's anywhere from like 4.125 to 4.25 is the normal. Um, the lower end of that for me personally, I like. And then if I need it to be heavier, I can put more over grips on it, which is really nice. Um, it is a honeycomb core like most of the, the paddles out there, 16 millimeter thick and has a contoured edge guard. Now the rush is going to be very similar to the threat. Um, the biggest difference is going to be that it has a 13 millimeter core thickness. Uh, again, the swing weights will be based on your choice of 117 to 124. It is a true elongated paddle at 16 and a half inches. Uh, the grip circumference is essentially the same. And that's why I actually think that if you want to go this direction, to have both is a smart idea in that they're very similar feeling paddles. It's just one has a bit more pop and less forgiveness when it comes to resets. Other than that, everything else is essentially the same between the two paddles. One of the paddle review things that I'm going to try to incorporate is who would like this paddle. And uh, my... Initial take on the Rush, the 13 millimeter version of this paddle, is that if you're a female that is in the 3.5 to 4.5 range and you want that extra little bit of pop without sacrificing uh, the ability to play at the kitchen, I think the Rush would be exceptional for that. Um, and, and not saying this that would be the best paddle only for ladies, I think for guys as well. But initially, that's what popped in my head is, wow, this would give you just a little bit of an edge at the kitchen line encounters and on drives uh, without really sacrificing too much on resets and things like that. The threat, on the other hand, is a paddle that I believe you could give to anyone, whether it would be a 3.0 up to a 6.0. And they would feel very comfortable with this paddle within an afternoon. Yeah. It is not so different. Uh, from some of the other paddles out there that there is a, a break-in period or you're trying to get used to it. Uh, this is a paddle you can pull out of the package and play with right away and be excellent. And the more you play with it, the more dialed in your drops are going to be your dinks. Um, and you're not losing a lot of pop. I'd say for most guys out there that can hit the ball really hard, what you're looking for is to establish your game and get to the kitchen line and play from there. Uh, and this would be a great paddle to do that with. And again, the, the price point is is a big factor for me at this point, and also how long the grit lasts. And after playing with this paddle for the last week, um, Rob's been playing with it for months, and the grit is still there. I'm still getting a lot of shape on my shots, and it's still very consistent. So, uh, you know, I think Thrive has definitely hit the mark here. I'm looking forward to seeing their new tech that comes out. I'm hoping it's not going to be astronomically expensive. So talk to your boy about that, Rob. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And until next time, Definitely go check out their website, uh, order one or two or four for yourself. Uh, I think this is a paddle that I would give two thumbs up on. The, the price is right, and uh, they're quality paddles. Hope to see you on the court.